The topic of today is positive mindset. I wanted to start with one of my favorite books. It's called Zen Speaks, Shouts of Nothingness. There was once a general who asked the Zen master. General said, are there such things as heaven and hell? The Zen master, what do you do for a living? The general replied, well, I'm a general. The Zen master said, ha ha ha. What idiot asked you to be his general? You look more like a butcher to me. The general said, what? I'll cut you into pieces. The Zen master said, here lies the gates to hell. The general said, excuse me, please forgive me. The Zen master said, here lies the gates to heaven. Heaven and hell aren't just places that suddenly appear after death. They exist here and now. Good and evil involve just an instant single thought. The gates of heaven and hell are ready to open for you at any time. I'm not promoting religion. I'm just telling my story. I'm just telling you this story because I don't want you guys to get confused by the whole religion thing. What I'm trying to say is everybody has their own belief, their own God, their own religion. And those people who don't believe in any of those things, that's their belief, their thoughts. I'm not trying to confuse you on that. I'm just going to tell you the story and take from what you want from it. Growing up, I read about all the religions, and I didn't do extensive, extensive studies, but I wanted to understand a little bit about all of them, just to understand them. I really like this story about the Zen master. Let's just take a moment to think about heaven and hell being right now. If we were to say right now, in today's society, heaven or hell? What do you think it is? I really love this story because I find that some people don't think about the present and they don't consider the fact that what they do right now could be more hell than heaven. They don't take the responsibility for doing the things on earth, the right things. They don't think about when they get really, really old and they don't think about how they're going to have to make up for their mistakes later in life or maybe their regrets. Sometimes you have to take the time to think about all these bad things. Are, you have to consider, are these bad things? Am I creating my own hell? Have I led myself to a path that may not be heaven-like? And heaven doesn't mean just heaven. I'm not talking about going you know, upstairs. What I'm talking about is just maybe just a positive thing. Are you doing the right things positively? When I was a kid, I grew up and I was a Boy Scout. And there was these, this oath that we took. And it was basically a way of life for us. Morals, maybe a set of morals. And I lived by this oath and these laws and these rules. And these rules shaped my life. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, reverent. I mean, if you think about all those things, I mean, shouldn't we be some of those things at least? I took it to heart and I thought to myself, am I being trustworthy or loyal or helpful or friendly or curious or kind? Are we even doing those things? Let's take that into consideration. That is my heaven. If I'm doing all those things, I know that I'm doing better. Are you creating your own heaven for your community? I always believe that you need to start at the home. Are you creating a positive environment in your home? That's the first start. That's where everything starts, at the home. I call it the team, the core team, because you spend most of your time with this core team. If you have your own family, the one that you've created, or if it's just you and your parents right now, that's your team. Eventually, you're gonna create your own team, and your own team's gonna be your spouse, maybe some kids, maybe some pets, dogs. Are you creating the positive environment right there first? Then your community, your neighbors. In today's society, we don't even talk to our neighbors anymore. 
We used to have these things back in the day called block parties. I don't know if you remember these things, but block parties were where all the neighbors would get together and talk and communicate and share ideas and enjoy each other's company. And all the kids would get together and they would play together. Do you guys do this in your community? Do you even know if there's ever been a block party in the 2000s? I mean, I knew when I grew up, it was a great time, but is it a great time for you growing up? Is it getting worse and worse? Is it hell? We need to create a positive environment, having a positive mindset around our team, our community, and then what's next? Maybe our city, then our state, then our country, then the world. I know a lot of people are trying to cure the world and try to fix the world. But really, you need to start at the beginning. Are we creating a heaven for our community around us? Here's an example that I just saw during the 2022 World Cup, Soccer World Cup, in Qatar. Now, this is a huge soccer tournament that happens every four years. There are 32 countries that compete in this every four years. There are the best 32 teams coming together to play in this world tournament. This year was very special. Let me tell you why. Is because after the game, the Japanese people who went to these games, after the game, they actually brought garbage bags and they cleaned up after all the spectators. Now, they weren't paid to do it. They weren't told to do it. They did it on their own. Win or lose, that's what they did. And they did it every game that they attended. Now, the resident of Qatar went up to them and said, you know, you guys don't have to do that. We pay people to go out and clean the stadiums. The Japanese people said, this is a beautiful stadium. And we respect the stadium. And we take care of things we respect. Think about that, guys. We take care of those things we respect. So if we don't respect our spouses, our kids, our family, our community, well, then we won't take care of them, will we? We got to get in the right mindset. We got to have the right respect for these things. So what did they do? The Japanese people, they went around and cleaned up the stadium because of respect, the respect for the stadium. Why don't we do that here in the United States? Maybe we don't have a lot of respect for ourselves. And maybe we should take time to think about that. Do we have enough respect for ourselves in our community? Maybe we should start learning from the Japanese. Just saying. This story wasn't so much about heaven and hell, the, the Japanese and the World Cup. It wasn't about heaven and hell. It was more about positive and negative mindsets. The positive mindset is to do, do the right things to be respectful. That's the positive mindset. Have you guys ever met somebody who just hates their life? Oh, I hate life. You know, life sucks. This sucks. That sucks. This is bad. That's bad. They have created their own hell in their head. You may be saying some of those people are just like martyrs and they just want everybody to feel sorry for them. And they've created their own hell They have a negative mindset on life and themselves. Well, it sounds like hell to me. I would never want to be that kind of person. Would you? I don't even like to use the word hate, but there are people that use it quite often. I might use the word dislike. I use that quite often. Saying, you know, I'm not a big fan of those people, whoever that may be. Someone says, oh, what do you think of so-and-so? I go, I'm not really a big fan. What do you think of that movie? Well, I'm not a big fan of the movie. But I generally don't hate anything. Hate is such a strong word. Not only do I not like using that word, I also try to stay away from people who use the words. I want my life to be positive, right? I want my energy to be positive. I want the people I spend time with to be positive. Why wouldn't you want to do the same thing? Let's be around positive people, positive people may have respect for you, respecting the community. It only gets better after that. 
anytime I meet somebody who has negative energy, I'm already turned off by them. I take a step back and I start taking a couple steps more back. And I'll tell you why. It's because those are the kind of people that suck the energy out of you. You may know these people. They suck the energy out of you. And then by the end of the day, you're just tired. You didn't even do anything. You're just tired. And it's because their energy just sucked the energy right out of you. There was a very wise person that said negative energy turns into fear for some people. Maybe it's a fear of something. But you know what fear is? Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. And anger leads to hate. And hate leads to suffering. And that leads to hell. You know who I'm talking about. Yoda. Yoda also said that the dark side is hell. And it's cold, dark, and lonely. If you like it, cold, dark, and lonely, there's your hell. You may be asking yourself, okay, Ed, enough of the thinking. What can we do? Okay, first, positive mind. Positive mind, health, and community. That's the first step. Mind, health, community. All positive. First, you have to have the right mindset or nothing is going to work. Second, your health. You got to start taking care of yourself. Eating right, exercising, creating the right space around you. If you notice that when you exercise and you eat a little bit better, you're a little bit happier. That gives you the energy to help others around you. You know what? Let's just start with the basics. If you don't care about people outside and you only care about yourself, then at least start doing that, right? Start taking care of yourself. If you only care about yourself, at least do that to yourself. Maybe eventually you'll start caring about others, but let's start with yourself first. Because if you don't care about yourself, you definitely won't care about others. Maybe it's today you start talking it out, saying, what do we need to improve on? What do we need to work on together as a team? I'm all about the team. This is what I tell my wife every day. We're, we're a team. We're a unit. And I tell my son the exact same thing. We're a team. We're a unit. We got to work together as a team. After the home, you need to create that support group, friends, family, support, whoever that may be. We got to push out that positive to bring in more because together we're stronger. Now, the people we need to keep away from that negative energy. It's funny. You go out to your friends and you're looking for them to give you that energy, that supportive, positive energy. And that's the people you want around you. But there are people out there, there are friends out there, and sometimes even parents, or maybe grandparents, or uncles, or aunts, the people that should be supporting you, there are people out there that they will be the ones that would rather see you fail so that they feel better about themselves. Have you ever met somebody who sat there and loved seeing other people fail to make themselves feel better? Whenever I find somebody who does something successful or, you know, something great or accomplishes something, even if it's a little bit, I always try to use the words, you know what? Good for, them. that's awesome. Because I don't want to take that away from, them. no, it doesn't matter who they are. Anytime somebody succeeds in whatever they're doing, good for them. After our friends and family, we got the right crew, the right team together. Then we got to work on our community. We work on our community, then our city, then our state, then our country, then the world, then maybe other worlds. Elon, other worlds, right? Then we could create the best heaven on earth and beyond. How would you create your heaven? Take the time to think about it. I know that I have. I've taken the time to think about what do I want? How am I going to do it? And then we're going to get there together. This is my story. If you love this podcast, please subscribe, share with your friends and family. If you know of anybody that could use it, please share it to them. Thank you all for listening. I'm Coach Ed, and you make your next day great.